So for 18, you need to solve by finding square roots. So what I would do is I would add or subtract to both sides. So in this case, I need to subtract 42. If I take 67 minus 42, we would get fit, okay, sorry, 5 and 2, so that's 25. And then I would square root both sides. And if you put this as your answer or you select this as your answer, it would be wrong because you have to have plus or minus. Don't forget plus and minus. Okay, for number 19, we have to set up the equation first. So it says, consider the square below. What is the value of x if the area of the square is 81 square units? So you have to think, okay, how do you find the area of a square? You do side times side. That means you're doing this right here twice. So x minus 4 squared equals 81. Okay, because 81 is the area. The whole idea is finding the, the missing x once you have the area. So I would square root both sides, canceling my 2 out. I get x minus 4 equals plus or minus 9. Then I add 4. So what does this look like? You would go positive 4 plus 9 and positive 4 minus 9. Okay, you're only changing the 9 because it's a plus or minus in front of the 9, not the 4. So 9 and 4 make 13 and 4 minus 9 make nine, negative 5. Now, when we solved this in class, um, we talked about how this was a story problem and how it's a measurement. Measurement cannot be measured with negative amount. So we can't use a negative. So my only solution is the 13. And this was special because it's a measurement. A measurement is not negative. Okay, for number 20, um, this says to solve. It does not tell you to factor. So I would look to see, like, okay, well, can I factor this by doing 1 times 28 and trying to get to negative 11? So the factors of 28... are 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 4 and 7. If my goal is to get to negative 11, can I do that using any of these pairs? I can. So, if I use 4 and 7, if I use 4 and 7, um, I would have to make them both negative this out because a negative times a negative gets back to positive and a negative plus a negative gets to negative 11. So now that I know that this works, this is a factoring problem. Okay, so now I would write x minus 4, x minus 7 equals 0. And in class, we have discussed many, many times that when you're just having regular x factor and you have to solve it, your answer is the opposite of these numbers. So if my, if my two factors are negative 4 and negative 7, I know that my actual solution is positive 4, positive 7 because the signs are opposite 
going from here to here. Okay? But you also need to make sure you understand that you are setting this equal to zero. You are setting this equal to zero. And if I were to actually solve it like a one step, I would add four to the other side. That would give me four. And I would add seven to the other side and that would give me seven. So I could see I would have positive four, positive seven. That same idea, signs are opposite. So on 21, it says find the x-intercepts of the graph of the equation. I know it doesn't say the word solve. It doesn't say the word factor and solve or factor. So we're going to make a note that this is a factor and solve problem. And you just take the y equals off and you say equals zero and you can see. Yeah, we should try x factor on this and see if it works. So I put negative 8 on the top. I put negative 2 at the bottom. And then the factors of 8 are 1 and 8, 2 and 4. 2 and 4 can subtract to be negative 2 if I make the 4 negative. So this is just like number 20. If I have just x factor, I know that my answers should be the opposite of these two numbers. So it should be a negative 2 and a positive 4 as my solutions. But to set it up correctly, it would look like this. Then you could subtract 2 and then you could add 4.